we'd love to hear what you have to say. Give us a call, 228290622823043. Facebook is open. I'm holding on to it. And William Tail, thank you so much. Good morning to you as well. Lovely little um, uh, message that you've given us. Yeah, um, we'd like to say good morning to Professor Tarasa. Rekindle the relationship. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure, Prof. Looking lovely as always. Yes. Thank you. Interesting, interesting thing, topic today. I was mm. smiling when I got the script. Oh. And, um, <laughs> Why were you smiling, Zali? I don't know. <laughs> So, so, you know, when it comes to, you know, rekindling, uh, we're, we're talking about what's been done. Um, mm. Everything's been broken up and, you know, wind up. Is, is that it? Yes. Not people drifting apart. It's just people broke up, just like that. Um, maybe we also would like to touch on the area whereby people just drift apart a little bit and how to get back mm. into the relationship. Yeah. But okay. there must be a reason why people broke up. There must be an issue. So, you know, if there's an issue, why would they want to get back together? Because the thing is that if we don't get back together, I'm not talking about getting back together, I'm talking about having the relationship in a situation whereby it is not of hatred, mm -hmm. it is not of anger, and it is very important to us mm -hmm. to be in that state. Because the state where we are in will actually create the reality that we are facing in our, in our life. Okay. So if we are in the state of anger, hatred, unforgiveness oh dear. <laughs> towards the person, not just... we. Are uh, we do not say when we forgive we do not say that it is okay to do that to me right we are not saying that right. we are forgiving that person for his inability to be in the better behavior that's what we are saying okay prof hold that thought right now because okay. we do have a caller online who's been waiting for with us uh, hi good morning hi good morning morning who's online please i'm Kyrie here yes and check what's your opinion on the topic uh, in my view, that I think that everybody, everyone, especially the one and the husband, should set a good mindset in the mind that they shouldn't, they shouldn't uh, make an argument. Every day they must set their goal and intention that argument in the family will uh, break up the relationship. True. So they must create a good record mm -hmm. and mutual understanding, mutual honor and respect between the pair. So it is important in uh, creating and realizing a good uh, rapport and relationship between their, between both of them. Mm -hmm. So I believe that if uh, they must create a trust and mutual trust, and it, it will uh, create a good uh, relationship among themselves. All right. So I, so, I mean, it is important in, in order to get rid of any uh, breakup relationship in their, in their home. Mm -hmm. So, I think that they must also get rid of any, uh, anything which uh, leading to the uh, something that break up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that the, the, the trifling and petty uh, argument should be uh, resolved by the, uh, you know, by the uh, discussion and consultation among both parties. All right. All right. So Thank can, you. Can create a good relationship among themselves. Brilliant. I believe that uh, it is good in uh, in strengthening and enhancing their understanding and relationship in their family. So All right. Important. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hairi. Thanks, and check Hairi. Uh, yes. Thank yeah, you that's, very that's much. That's a beautiful way of saying it. Yeah. He it? has uh, put. Uh, in words what I intend to say just now and thank you so much for that input uh, intention the right intention must be there mm -hmm. when we are having relationship mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about relationship at romantic relationship I'm also talking about relationship at work as well mm -hmm. you know when we are what is our intention with our client for example if we are only thinking about we want to get the money from the client then is where we are not going to get it mm -hmm. because the right intention must be there when we want to be in the in the in a romantic relationship I'm talking about in marriage our intention for both party must be that we want the, the marriage to be to be until the end of our life right and I know that everybody intend that everybody wants that but not deeply intend that and then we, we, we have that fear because we see uh, people around us having broken families mm. having broken marriage and we thought that will it last will my love towards this person last yeah and when we thought that uh, love is just that uh, wonderful feeling inside you know we are like on cloud nine all that and when we are not on cloud nine when the finance financial issues come in yeah. when the children 
issues come in and we thought that we do not have that beautiful feeling anymore and we thought that we do not love one another. The cloud well, nine just comes out of reality. <laughs> and that is no. something that we need to understand. Yeah, yeah Prof, uh, so, sorry, I have to interject right yeah, there. Yes, okay. Um, you know, when, when you know, we're talking about rekindling, you mm. know, what's left, uh, what we used to have, um, you know, and we have issues that caused the breakup in the first place, and, you know, surely there's forgiveness and healing in, in the process. So wh where does, you know, forgiveness steps in when it's, you know, it was a major issue? Yeah, yeah. As, I, as I said to you just mm. now, I mean, I, say, I share just now, it is not about forgiving and, say, and it's not about saying that it's okay that you did that to me. Mm. We are not saying that we are okay with that uh, mm. way of uh, treating us. We are saying that I forgive you for your misunderstanding about your misconducting your behavior okay it is and but the person itself is a wonderful person he is just not able to control how he behave because prof, he allowed the negative I have to say this prof and very sorry for for interjecting you again uh, but for one to turn around and say I forgive you for what malice you have done towards me that takes a tall order for any woman and any man for that matter I'm quite sure uh, but I need to also ask you this when you talk about a breakup and the reason why you break up in a certain relationship No matter how rosy and sugar-coated it was is probably because of certain incidents that would have happened uh, Something really bad that you couldn't take the, the other person anymore and again Malaysia I'm talking about men and women not men alone or women alone um, So when you talk about a relationship that's already broken up suddenly the, the the person either the woman or the man finds another person and feels like she or he can click with this other person just like that so that's basically you being on a rebound, isn't it? Uh, if now, it happened immediately, yes. it could be. Uh -huh. It could be. On a rebound. Not, yeah, we cannot do. We cannot say everything is. You know, it, we cannot generalize. So how things. dangerous is that getting into a rebound? Okay, we need to understand why we, why rebound happen. Uh -huh. Because when we are hurt, we are feeling that we are not good enough. We are feeling unloved. Uh -huh. So we crave for that love. Uh -huh. So we just grab the next person that it is just Whoa. like drowning. You feel that you are drowning. You just grab the the next person that you can catch. I so won't Okay, drown. I just like to talk a little <laughs> bit about the forgiveness because yes. I'm not really. Let's, okay. let's, let's get into that. Uh, the thing is that uh, it is true. We feel hurt, mm -hmm. we feel angry, mm -hmm. and uh, leave that person alone. Mm -hmm. But forgive yourself if you can't forgive yeah. that person. Ah, that's because true. it is very important for us to forgive ourselves. Because when in that relation, we are saying, why do I get involved with this person? When, you know, and my mom already told me not to, you know, all those kind of <laughs> oh, things. Oh, the mother's <laughs> coming all the time. Yeah, yeah. the mama's always yeah, there. And the friends already want, and we get into that relationship still. Mm -hmm. And we feel like, why am I so S-T? Talking about the ST, talking your oh, former okay. boyfriends or girlfriends, checking their Facebook, fi That's asking scary, through their friends, it? you know, waiting in front of the house. People do this all the time. Why won't they learn? Uh, when they have it, they don't appreciate when they. <laughs> 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 when they don't know, <laughs> they yeah. overappreciate it. Basically, if we go deep down, it's actually uh, the the issue on the person itself. Right? Yeah. But that person feel that he cannot get or she cannot get something that is so wonderful and valuable. Mm -hmm. And when she got it or he got it, he feel that it is not for him. And that's when that relationship he start he the person start to sabotage that relationship because we need to understand nothing happened in our life because of the other person. That's Everything true. happened because of our own creation, the thoughts that we bring into our mind, that bring into, uh, into reality, in, into the thing that happened in our life. That is where the place that we need to take control. Okay. And that is why I said, when, I, when things like that happen, go into forgiveness of yourself. You can't forgive the other person. Mm. I know it is a tall order, but at the same time, if you can rise above that, that then be. yes. Because healing itself has a process. Yeah. Now, Prof, uh, coming back to, okay, we, we, we were talking about singles, you know, having into a relationship. But as uh, Inchik Kairi told us earlier, our caller earlier, mm. you know, in a relationship, as in, in a marriage, uh, one must be able to tolerate the other. One must be able to talk and communicate the other. And communication is key. Mm. Uh, now, so, certain marriages, even though you have children and, and you know, you've been married for about, say, 10, 15 years, sometimes there is that need for space, individual space between mm. both spouses uh, and certain people actually take that space now is that something that you would recommend i would say yes uh, to that if both party agrees mm -hmm. because 
And when we talk about space, we are not saying about being apart physically only. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also saying about respecting the person having to have the time to regroup himself, mm -hmm. to, to, to be able to feel it inside. Of, because if it is like hanging too much, mm -hmm. one, if you feel, if you have been in a situation where people hang on you too much, you can't even think, you can't even breathe. Yep. Yeah, it is like suffocating. And as uh, partners, we need to realize that our partner need that space and respect that space and if that person for example like feeling down on a certain issue you know for example you have a quarrel mm. right and quarrel it is sometimes it is healthy if we know that after that you will be able to bring the, yourself closer because sometimes why we have quarrel and argument because there's no other way how we can express ourselves true yeah so if if we understand that, then we learn how to express ourselves to our spouse without having to have quarrel. Yeah, and that is some a skill that we need to learn. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it is also with children. Yeah. You notice that some children they are so like expressive, uh, yeah, expressive mm -hmm. and they say na native bad words yeah. to their parents mm -hmm. because they don't have the chance to really express themselves. So mm -hmm. when we give them the space that they can express themselves, for example, they are such a, okay, okay, okay. What is it that you want to say? Mm. If we can go down, but when we are in an argument, our ego start to come out. Oh, we yeah. want to be right. The thing is, do you want to be right or you want to be happy? Mm. That's in our life. We always have choice choices in our life. That's true. So we always will face at least two choices. Mm -hmm. So at every moment, I have a choice whether I want to speak or I don't want to speak. Right? Mm. Yeah. So if I don't want to speak, then there is a choice I take. Mm. But if I want to speak, then I have to prepare for all this, and I have to say things that, and I need to to be ready for for what the choice that I make. So the mm -hmm. same thing in our marriage. If we want to have a lasting marriage, mm -hmm. is that is the intention. And there's some argument here and there, and it is not sometimes not just argument. I've been 30 years more marriage, <laughs> married to <laughs> the same more than man. An argument. <laughs> <laughs> and to say that we have not gone through difficult time, we have. We have. Mm -hmm. And we, if I've said that I've not gone through something that need me to forgive big mm -hmm. i have mm -hmm. so when i'm sitting here talking about it it is okay you mm -hmm. can forgive but forgiveness is something like this mm -hmm. you forgive a person and suddenly you feel oh i cannot forgive that person mm -hmm. and you thought that you have forgiven that person uh -huh. right uh -huh. Betul? Yeah. yeah because Ring it a bell, <laughs> <laughs> because it ding, ding, forgiveness, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> forgiveness is just like layers inside the onion ah, yeah so it, it is actually what happens is that you are going going deep inside. You mm -hmm. are you are erasing those negative things that surrounding your heart. Mm. So when you are able to come to a point whereby you can see bigger than just what happened, because when we are in that that situation, we only see that. But actually, when we rise up and we can see what how we are playing that game. Of life. Can I can I just ask you this uh, before we let you go for the day, Prof? Um, <laughs> we are talking about rekindling the relationship. Yes. What if we, for you know, at the at the bottom of our bone, we know that you know this relationship is not so not going to work, even if I rekindle it. And after rekindling it, it's still not working. You know, how do you make that decision to just move on and say, tell both parties and tell yourself, you know what, this is as much as he's he or she's the you know the gift of God. I can't, I can't have this relationship because it's just not working. How do you, how do you move on? Then? How do you, how do you approach that? Say the most hardest word. Sorry is the most hardest word. <laughs> just to say I'm sorry for all the wrong thing that I have done, and just move on from that because that's true. There's some relationship we just cannot go on with that. Mm. We have to move on in life. And I just like to bring a very wonderful movie actually, right? Uh -huh. Maybe you have heard the movie Vow. Right, wow, V O W, Channing Tatum actually oh, play, and wow. it is based Channing on a true story, <laughs> true story. <laughs> and this man, the uh, the the wife lost uh, his her memory, and because of that, she does not recognize him anymore. Mm -hmm. And he, this man loved the wife so much, and wanting to make sure that you know, the, yeah, she remembers, and come to the point whereby the woman just cannot love her him anymore oh. and because of his bigness of love in his heart he let the woman go oh. when because he let the woman go the woman come back into his life wow. so I'm, what I'm saying See, is I'm getting goosebumps already yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those just watch that movie <laughs> yeah, B-O-W yeah. Channing Tatum yeah. the thing is that uh, 
when we hold it onto it too much, yeah. it becomes small and it cannot grow. Yeah. And you cannot grow. True. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is to let go. When we let go, we'll be able to actually uh, face our life better. And I have already talked about it in my uh, video, in my YouTube, mm -hmm. called How Pain Taught Me Love. All right. Thank you very much, Prof. Yes, Rosita. thank you, Prof. It's such an enjoyable session. <laughs> it's so enlightening, you know. It's rewarding for you, I see. Yes, yes. of course. <laughs> well, you know, you, you know what to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And, you know, you learn to let go and you rise above. And, of course, That's forgiveness right. is like an onion. It goes with layers and layers and layers. That's right. <laughs> thank you very much again, Professor. You're welcome. Um,